The groove found at the wrist palm faced up is where nine tendons and one nerve pass through to reach the hands. This groove is called the carpal tunnel. The median nerve is the only nerve passing through the carpal tunnel. It controls sensations in the palm side of the fingers except the little finger. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when the median nerve is pressed or squeezed at the carpal tunnel. Symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome may include frequent feeling of pain, burning, itching numbness, tingling, or electric shock like feeling of the palm and the fingers except the little finger, clumsiness or weakness in doing delicate movements, reduced grip strength, inability to distinguish between hot and cold sensations, and strange sensations and pain that travel up the arm towards the shoulder. These symptoms typically occur at night. Carpal tunnel syndrome can be hereditary. Conditions such as tenosynovitis or swelling of the lining of the flexor tendons, joint dislocation, sprain fracture, rheumatoid arthritis, hypothyroidism, hormonal changes or fluid retention due to pregnancy or menopause, a cyst or tumour in the carpal tunnel, or diabetes can predispose an individual to develop carpal tunnel syndrome. In some cases, carpal tunnel syndrome can be related to mechanical problems in the wrist, work stress or repeated and continuous use of vibrating hand tools. Carpal tunnel syndrome can be treated through treating the underlying cause, such as diabetes or arthritis, immobilizing the affected hand and wrist with a splint for at least four to six weeks, or applying cool packs. A doctor may prescribe anti inflammatory medication or give you an injection with corticosteroids. Sometimes, exercises or acupuncture can help reduce the symptoms. When you experience severe complaints, surgery can be considered. In 25% of the cases, the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome disappear spontaneously after a year without any treatment. Carpal tunnel syndrome can be prevented. Simple things such as exercising simple stretching exercise, resting your hand from repetitive hand motions frequently, wearing a splint to keep the wrist straight or wearing fingerless gloves to maintain warmth and flexibility of the hands.